I will admit, everything I have seen thus far about the character Argyle has gotten me all the more interested in My Little Pony Generation 5. From the animatic, which shows him singing the praises of the main six to his daughter Sunny, I really hope this turns up in the movie, by the way, but also from his apparently gentle demeanor going alongside his admiration for the main six. Because if you take a closer look here, you might notice he has a wooden carving of Twilight Sparkle's cutie mark. Whilst it is missing the five stars around the center, it is easy to see the resemblance. But while looking at this piece, it occurred to me. Perhaps this pendant might have been something that Argyle crafted himself. We know from the upcoming film synopsis that the world of Equestria has lost its magic, with pony kind giving in to paranoia and mistrust. The whole premise is about Sunny seeking to restore the magic of friendship, so it stands to reason that perhaps most every pony has forgotten about the main six, since their stories were from ancient times. It's entirely possible that this Argyle may be the only pony who still knows about the main six. Perhaps making him a historian, or maybe even an archaeologist? Can you imagine Argyle unearthing fragments of the Tree of Harmony, feeling inspired by the star symbol in the center? and later in life being overjoyed at the discovery of Twilight's friendship journal, or at the very least one of the copies? It could make for an interesting setup that one pony's passion for learning everything he could find about the main six leads to passing down all those stories to his daughter Sunny, which in turn leads to her passion for ancient history. In fact, one could make the argument that the memorabilia found in Sunny's room may be homemade itself. For example, looking at this banner of Celestia's cutie mark, you can tell these patterns have all been sewn together. Can you imagine Argyle alongside a very young Sunny creating their own figurines of the main six? It would be a sort of indirect reference to the Brony community, wouldn't you think? And then again, perhaps some of Ponykind really do remember the ancient times of the main six, which would mean that some of this memorabilia could in fact be factory-made. After all, Hasbro is always going to want to push that buy our toys angle. But I will admit, I do believe this first option would leave a more lasting impact on the audience. What do each of you think, though? From what little we've seen of Argyle thus far, what sort of impression do you get from his character? And what sort of stories between father and daughter would you like to see in the upcoming film and follow-up Netflix series? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, because as always, I am Dr. Wolf, and I look forward to hearing from you.